Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobopedia. Here they come! You know who the hoobs are? Ivor, Groove, and Tula! We're hoobs! And they're ready to go. Now the wheels are turning, we cannot get learning all the things we want to know. Hey! Holla, in Hoobland, and Rome is somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing. It's so sunny here by the seaside. We could almost be back in Hoobland. <sighs> the sea air smells so good, doesn't it, Ivor? Ivor? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're right. Yes, yes, it's um, hoobacious. <laughs> but I think... Hoobie Galooby, I must have fallen asleep in the sunshine. We don't have a question for Hoob News. Where's Groove? Oh, I don't know. He went off collecting things as usual. We need him back. Hubba Hubba will be waiting in Hoobland for us to hit on a question. Hoobble Doop! Hoobble Doop! Hoobble Doop Groove! Hoobble Doop! Groove? Hoobble Doop! <laughs> oh, Groove, there you are! Hoobble Doop! <laughs> Come on, Tula. Let's get back downstairs. <laughs> Now, which collection shall I put you in, eh? Never mind that now, Groove. We've got to think up an interesting question for Hoob News. Oh, Groove looks like he's got something interesting. Mm. What is it, Groove? Well, I don't know, really, Tula. It's a little white spiky thing in a bit of wood. Oh, one of those. Oh, yes. Now then. It's um... Hoobie Groovy, eh? I found it on the beach. Hmm? Oh, yes, those little white spiky things. Always very useful. <laughs> but, hey, we must get on. Useful? Really? So what's it for, then, Ivor? Yes, Ivor. What's Groove's little white spiky thing for? Um, is that... Hubba, 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 hubba. Yes, hubba, hubba. What's Groove's little white spiky thing for? Oh, now that's a hoobble doobble dooper question for today's hoob news. I can't wait to tell Roma. I'm sure she'll send you a fan tabby hoobie report about little white spiky things. I can't wait, hubba hubba. And I can put your answer into my hoobopedia so hoobs everywhere can find out what little white spiky things are for. All right, hubba hubba, but where do we start? Someone must know what it's for. But who? <laughs> Know who? You, you do? do? Yes, the Tiddly Peeps. They're sure to come up with some fan tabby hoobie uses for your little white spiky thing groove. They might even know what it is. You're absolutely right, Hubba Hubba. Tiddly Peeps are full of bright ideas. Right, I'm taking my little white spiky thing to see the Tiddly Peeps. Let's wake up those motorettes, Groove. Let's get this hoobmobile moving. See, but Ivor. Yes. We're, We're off, off to see, see the Tiddly Peeps. peeps. Yeah! Ah! We're off to see the tiddly peeps On the road we go We're off to see the tiddly peeps They're smart, they're fun They know The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps Help us find things out They give us clues, they tell us news That's what they're all about Whee! <laughs> yeah! Woo! The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how? We'll ask them off we go. Yahoo! We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart, they're fun, they know. And how they know. You! Yeah. Hey! It's great! Hi there, tiddly peeps. Do you want to do the hoobie hello? Yes, please. A hoob will do. A hoob will do. A whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, because I need a bit of help. I found this thing on the beach, and I don't know what to use it for. Have you got any ideas? You could use it as a hook. A oh. hook? What a hoobacious <laughs> idea. But what could I hang on my hook? 
It needs to be something small, doesn't it? What about a necklace or a bracelet? <gasps> Good idea. Yeah, that would be just perfect. What else could I hang on it? Some keys. Keys? Like the keys to the Hoobmobile? That's Hoobie Groovy. I think I'm going to go straight back and try that out. Thanks, Tiddly Peeps. Oh, by the way, I don't suppose you know what that is, do you? I do. Yeah? It's a shark's tooth. A shark's tooth? <gasps> From a real shark? That's amazing. But what about the bit of wood? Mm, I think that's part of an old boat. An old oh. boat? Hmm. Do you know, I think you're right. You tiddly peeps are so clever. Do you hear that, Tula? Yes. Ivor? Yes. This thing is a shark's tooth. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I've got to get back to the Hoobabill now, so I'll see you again soon, OK? Hoobble toodle do! Hoobble toodle do! So that's what it is a shark's tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we think of that before? <laughs> because usually teeth are found in mouths, not in bits of old boats. The tiddly peeps think I should use my white spiky thing as a hook. But what shall I hook on my hook? <laughs> Groove. It's a shark's tooth. <laughs> we really ought to find out what a shark's tooth is for. Hmm. We must be able to find out something more about shark's teeth. But where can we look? Yes. Where? Where, where, where? Here's where, Hoobs. I found a picture of a shark on Hoobnet. He has hoob loads of teeth. Great big fangs they are. Take a look. <gasps> Hoobie Galooby, I'm going to print that out. Hey, look at this, Ivor. I think Tula's necklace works best on my little white spiky thing. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, yes, yes, Groove, yes. Come and take a look at this. Come on. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Imagine how many necklaces you could hang on those teeth, Tula. <laughs> no, Groove, 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 Groove. I don't think a shark uses his teeth to hang a necklace on, do you? Oh, right. Well, maybe I could use it to make a scritchy, scratchy picture of this shark. <laughs> Thank you, Tula. Ivor, hmm? I've been thinking. Peeps have teeth. Now, if we could find out what peeps use their teeth for, maybe it will be the same for sharks. Excellent idea, Hubba. Tula. Hubba. 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 Well done, Tula. Thanks, Hubba Hubba. Now you're really getting somewhere. <laughs> I've been looking on Hoobnet for some pictures of peeps' teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll come up with some hoobacious ideas about what they're for. Oh. Ah, now here's a smiling tiddly peep. Oh, two more smiling tiddly peeps. I think we're onto something here. Oh, a smiling peep. Yes, when peeps and tiddly peeps smile, they show you their teeth. Look, there you are. Lovely. Lovely big smiles and lovely big teeth. Ha, ha, ha. Ah! Hoobble doop! Look, there's a peep and a tiddly peep both smiling. What are they doing? Oh, 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 having fun smiling. Oh, yes! Ah! Hoobble toodle doo! That's it! Of course, that's the answer! Peeps use their teeth to smile and laugh with. Hey, Groove! <laughs> Groove! Hey, Ivor, Ivor, Tula, look, look! Look at my scritchy, scratchy shark picture. I put the paint on and then scratched it off with my little white spiky thing. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> just, 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 groove, groove. <laughs> it looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if I were a shark, that's how I'd look. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we're laughing, but we don't have any teeth. <laughs> of course we don't, Tula. We're hoops. <laughs> Oh, no, this is serious. This is serious. If we don't need teeth to smile yeah. and laugh, maybe the peeps don't either. Yeah. And another thing, do you suppose a shark ever smiles or laughs? No, no of course not. not. Hubba, oh. hubba. How are you getting on, Hoobs? Not too well, Hubba Hubba. We thought that shark's teeth might have something to do with smiling and laughing. Yeah, but we don't think that sharks smile or laugh at all. Mm. No. I think, I think you're, you're probably, probably right there. <sighs> but don't worry, a tiddly peep has sent in a story to Hoobnet about teeth. Take a look. 
There was once a tiny hut on the edge of a village. Inside the hut lived a little girl called Imelda with her old aunt Mo. The days were hot and long and there was never very much to eat. On market day, Imelda would gaze at the fruit stalls with wide open eyes. If only I had a silver coin, she sighed. Then I could buy some fat juicy peaches for Aunt Mo. Imelda trudged her way home. She was thirsty and hungry and she had a strange feeling inside her mouth. Later, while Imelda was eating a hard crust of bread for her supper, one of her baby teeth fell out. Oh, Imelda! cried Aunt Mo excitedly. That means the Tooth Fairy will come tonight. Who is the Tooth Fairy? asked Imelda. The Tooth Fairy is as tiny as a snowflake, Aunt Mo explained. She lives in a white polished house made of children's baby teeth. She takes the baby tooth from under your pillow and in return for it, leaves you a silver coin. So when she went to bed, Imelda carefully put her tooth under her pillow. She was so excited, it was hard to get to sleep. You must go to sleep, Imelda, said old Aunt Mo. Otherwise, the tooth fairy won't come. <gasps> Morning came. Imelda woke up. She looked under her pillow and sure enough, her tooth had disappeared. In its place, the Tooth Fairy had left a shiny silver coin. Imelda ran to the market. And can you guess what she bought with her silver coin? Why, a bag of fat, juicy peaches for old Aunt Mo. <laughs> So that's why Tiddly Peeps have teeth, so that the Tooth Fairy can make houses with them. Yes, Tula. But, but I can't imagine that sharks have a Tooth Fairy. <laughs> they don't sleep in beds, no. no. They can't put their fangs under a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I think sharks have a fishy fang fairy who swims about collecting all the fangs that fall into the sea. Well, perhaps that's what this is. The beginning of a house. Oh, I I'm not at all sure about that, Groove. Mm, neither am I. Hobie bother. I know what we should do. We should get some teeth of our own. Yes! If we have teeth, we can try them out and find out what they're for. I could make some! <laughs> There's bound to be something in my Hobie bit spots that I could use. <laughs> Roma, Roma, Roma. Oh, it's Roma. I'm sure she'll help. Hoople doop, Roma! <laughs> Hoople doop, Hoobs! Hubba Hubba told me you wanted to know about teeth. Now, I'm in a dental surgery. This is where peeps come when they need to get their teeth checked. Oh. Did you know that peeps have to brush their teeth with a thing called a toothbrush? This is one here. And some stuff called toothpaste at least twice a day. Hoobie Galooby. That looks really hooby groovy. <laughs> it is. Very hooby groovy indeed, Groove. And it tastes delicious. Oh. Now, if peeps and tiddly peeps don't look after their teeth, they get holes in them, which the dentist, <laughs> that'll be me later, <laughs> has to fill up. And if that doesn't work, their teeth fall out. Maybe the shark didn't brush his teeth, so that's why it fell out. <laughs> Sharks don't have toothbrushes, Groove. Or dentists. No, of course not, Roma. Silly me. Now then, if peeps lose all their teeth, they have to wear these false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's because if they don't have any teeth, they can't talk properly. They talk a bit like this. This is Roma who <laughs> reporting for who news, <laughs> pretending to be a toothless peep. Who will do not do? Hoobble toodle do! Well, that's it then. Peeps use teeth for talking. <laughs> should we try it out? If we wear these, we should sound just like Peeps. Wow, Tula, they look hoobacious. Go <laughs> 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 go! <laughs> oh, Tula's a peep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Peeps use teeth for talking. They do a lot of that. Tiddly peeps spend all their life going chitter 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 chat. Oh, They've got teeth at the front of their mouth. And more.
your teeth at the back. Oh, little natter, sister chatter, they sit to chatter every day. But when hoops stick teeth in their chubby hooby cheeks, you can hardly understand a word they say. Now, peeps use teeth for talking. Yes, that's the purpose of teeth. They've got one set of gnashes at the top of their mouth, another set of gnashes underneath. So today these hoobs are wearing teeth. It's another of their hooby cool adventures. But it's not too good getting understood with a face full of peepee type dentures. Oh, oh nitter natter, chitter chatter, peeps chitter chatter every day. Aha! Uh -huh. When hoops stick teeth in the chubby hooby cheeks, you can hardly understand the word we say. Oh, nitter natter, chitter chatter, peeps chitter chatter every day. But when hoops stick teeth in the chubby hooby cheeks, you can hardly understand a word we say. No, I can hardly understand a word you say. Yeah. <coughs> oh, these are hopeless. <coughs> Isn't it strange? Peeps can't talk without teeth, and hoops can't hubba, talk with hubba, them. Hubba, 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 hubba. hubba. Please, could you order some false teeth from Hoobnet? I want to decorate the Hooby studio with them. Of course, Tula. I might even order a pair for myself. They look rather hoobly groobly. Ah, uh, they'll be with you soon. Thank you, Hubba Hubba. Hang on. Wait. We think that teeth might be used for talking, right? Right. But sharks don't talk. Hooby galooby. I didn't think of that. So they don't use their teeth for talking. Oh, dear. Hubba! Hubba! Hubba's back. Hubba. He's sure to be able to help. I do hope so, Hoops. I think you should go back to the Tiddly Peeps groove and ask them what sharks use their teeth for. After all, they're smart. They're fun. They know. Yeah, I'm going to take my shark's tooth back to the Tiddly Peeps. Come on, Ivy, you can drive me. <laughs> To see the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how, we'll ask them off we go. Yahoo! We're off to see the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. Who <laughs> hey, will do tiddly peeps? <laughs> I'm so glad I found you. We've got this shark tooth and we can't work out what a shark uses its tooth for. We thought maybe it was for smiling with, mm. but we realised that sharks don't smile, do no. they? And, and then we thought maybe they'd use their teeth for talking like you tiddly peeps do. Sharks can't talk. Oh. Oh. oh, yes, that's right. They don't talk, do they? So what do sharks use their teeth for? Does anyone know? For eating. For eating? <laughs> <laughs> what do sharks eat then? Fish? Hooby galooby. What, like this? You don't have any teeth, Groove. No, no, none of us hoops have teeth, but uh, Tiddly Peeps do. Do you use your teeth for eating too? Of course we do. Yeah? Will you show me how you do it? Hooby galooby, that's amazing. Just look. Ah, what a huge bite. I can see why you need teeth to eat that. Now, you're using your teeth to break your food into tiny pieces. That's very clever. That's what sharks must do too. Did you hear that, Ivor? Tula, sharks need teeth for munching and crunching and chewing and chomping and nibbling and biting and eating fish. <laughs> hey, thank you, Tiddly Peeps. You've been very helpful. But I've got to go now. So, Hoobble Toodle do. Hoobble Toodle do. I thought we'd never work it out. <laughs> what I want to know is, how did the shark's tooth end up in this bit of boat, then? Do you know what I think, Groove? What? I think the shark bit into a boat. You mean, it thought the boat was a fish? Exactly. Oh, oh what? This is awful. Hmm? If he hasn't got his tooth, he won't be able to eat his dinner. Can you imagine what it'd be like not being able to eat your dinner? Hmm? No, Groove, I can't. No, but don't worry about that right now. We've got the answer to our question at last. Come on. Time for Hoob News! Oh, that must be our delivery of false teeth from Hubba Hubba. Just in time to decorate the Hoobie studio. Yeah. Oh, poor shark. Brush, 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 brush. Clean your teeth and never rush. If you clean them twice a day, well, that will keep the germs away. Brush them every morning, then again at night. Brush, brush, brush. 
brush your teeth and keep them nice and white. Hey! Tootle, tip and even twang Do not have a single fang Not a single tooth between us Otherwise you would have seen us Brush them every morning Then again at night But down here in the engine room There's not a tooth in sight Ah, hooves! I see the false teeth have arrived Aren't they fan tabby hoobie? <laughs> um... Um, yes, they are, Hubba Hubba, though they're not quite what we were expecting. Uh, so, are you ready to give me your hoob news for my hoobopedia? Uh, absolutely, Hubba Hubba. Then take it away. Hoobble doop whoop to all you hoobs out there. Welcome to Hoob News, the new show for hoobs everywhere. I'm Iva. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... What's Groove's little white spiky thing for? To begin with, we didn't even know what it was. Then a tiddly peep told us it was a tooth belonging to a shark. I discovered that a shark's tooth makes a hubacious hook for Tula's necklace. Then Groove discovered that he could draw a hubacious, scritchy, scratchy picture with it, which looked just like him. But of course, a shark doesn't use its teeth as a hook or as a scritchy scratcher. We decided to find out what peeps use their teeth for, to see if it was the same for sharks. And we thought that peeps use their teeth for laughing and smiling. But sharks didn't seem to do much laughing or smiling. So then Hubba Hubba found us a story about a tooth fairy. And we thought maybe sharks' teeth are used for building little fairy houses. But as sharks don't have tooth fairies, we decided this wasn't the case. Roma told us how peeps look after their teeth and showed us how they would sound if they tried to talk without them. I made some teeth so that we could see if we could sound like peeps when we wore them. But we didn't. No, I can hardly understand the word you say. Then we realised that sharks couldn't use their teeth for talking because sharks don't talk. So I went to see some tiddly peeps and they told us sharks, just like peeps and tiddly peeps, use their teeth for... Eating! Hoob, hoob, hooray, hoobs! <laughs> <laughs> and so it's thanks once again to Iva, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hoobs everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. And remember, wherever you are, have a hoobly groobly day and hoobble toodle do! Hoobble toodle do! Right then, I'm going to take my little white spiky thing down to the sea so that Shark can have it back. But aren't you going to use it as a hook or for making more scritchy scratchy pictures? No, either I'm not. The Shark needs his tooth more than I do. Without it, he won't be able to eat his dinner. Oh. Hubba hubba in Hoobland. And Rome is somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop, hoop, is coming your way Ha, ha, oh! Hey! <laughs>